Hello and welcome back to Danganronpa 2. Let's get on with this. Search the place thoroughly. As he issued that order, Bayakuo began searching the whole kitchen from one end to the other. Wine glasses there, especially ones with thin stems. Smash them, stab them. Hmm. Bottles, smash that over the back of the head. There are forks and knives on that shelf. Don't tell me those two. Naturally. These are definitely dangerous items. If you're just eating, chopsticks are enough. Yeah, and again, chopstick. If you hit it right in the jugular, kill a guy. Easy. Yes, I have thought about this before. Plastic bottle, you can kill someone with that. You've basically got to pin them down and jam it down their throat, but it works. After he said that, Bayakua threw the forks and knives into the Duarillium case, one after another. You're being very thorough about all this. Chinese, Japanese, French and Italian cuisine, seafood dishes too. There's even a huge piece of meat on the bone. That Terahatu sure got fired up. I don't even know if I'll be able to eat that much food. I see. It seems there are no dangerous items, like that skewer in the Chiricasso earlier inside that pile of food. That appears to be the case. I wouldn't have known what to do if he said fish bones and meat bones were also dangerous items. Knife set. There appear to be various types of knives, but these... What? Out of the question. Knives are far too dangerous. Hand them over to me and I'll safeguard them. Bayako will grab the knife from my hand and threw it into the case with the rest. Of course. Uh, as I say, wine glasses. You can absolutely kill someone with those. This paper is... I see. It appears to be an equipment list for the kitchen. 20 forks, 20 knives, 20 spoons, 5 iron skewers, 3 frying pans, 20 wine glasses. There are also iron plates for barbecue, even a portable stove for cooking hot pot. Hmm. Iron plates and a portable stove. I do recall seeing them on the shelf over there. This kitchen seems to be well kept, shouldn't be any problem using it. But the building's old, the kitchen is impressive. Compared to a normal restaurant, it's not even that shabby. Very strange. One of the items on this list appears to be short by one. Uh, which one, dude? You can't just say one of the items and then not tell me which. Is it necessary to go this far? Don't make me repeat I'm doing myself. this because it's necessary. If I'm to fulfill the promise I made to not let anyone become a victim, I must be extra vigilant. Is that all? What? What do you mean? Well, I'm just assuming that I think something must have happened to you. After all, you decided to throw a party so suddenly, I can't help but think there's a reason for that. Hmm. It's not like it. I've been a distrustful person for as long as I can remember. Distrustful person? I don't really like to talk about my past, but... No, it's fine, I'll tell you just a little bit of it. Hmm. I can't talk to others about my past. I suspect my sceptical nature is to blame. Bayakua has a past he can't talk about? Hmm. Distrusting others, being distrusted in turn. For a long time, my life has been a living hell. It was inevitable that I would end up this way. <laughs> but in all this kind of situation, my sceptical nature may be of good use. If we're to survive here, scepticism is necessary. At all costs. By the way, that past you mentioned? That's enough. Now is not the time. But one day, there will be a time when I will be able to tell you about it. Hmm. If nothing happens and the time passes for us peacefully, I will have no choice but to talk. That sounded pretty deep. I sort of feel like things are even more mysterious now because he hasn't told me the whole story. This guy might have a deep mystery hidden within him. Deeper than I thought he'd have. Such silly talk. Enough with the unnecessary banter. We'd better hurry and find out the rest of these dangerous items. Y yeah, got it. Even so, he sure works us hard. It's probably more in line with his personality, I bet. Huh? Why? The kitchen's a mess. What happened here? Stop talking. Don't raise your annoying voice. I simply removed all of the dangerous items. 
Huh? There are no knives or forks. How come? Don't make me repeat. I myself. literally just said I removed all of the dangerous items. You're kidding! Don't right? tell me you're treating cooking utensils like dangerous items. No, 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 well, no, no, no. Well, most of the dishes are finished. All I've got to do is arrange the plates, so it's not a problem. But, 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 but still. Aww. Hey, Yami! Stop it! Get off me! Eh? Eh? No, not into that sort of thing. Well, that's a little depressing. Trust me, I'm the one who's depressed here. Before you start getting all flirty, explain this. I checked the equipment list and there seems to be an iron skewer still missing. Mm -hmm. That's right. As far as I know, it's been missing from the start. No matter how clean this place gets, stuff still is bound to go missing in an old building, right? If it's been missing all along, you really can't do anything about it, right? <laughs> You're right. There's no place to hide such a long skewer anyway. Very well. All I need to do is keep over a watchful eye. Don't tell me you plan to keep a watchful eye all night long. Let's go. Alright, let's go back. The others should be waiting for us. You too, Teratur. Come to the dining hall for now. Ah, uh, <laughs> Okay. Jeez, it's such a pushy leader. Ah! Oh! They're finally back! Hey, hey! Hey, let's eat already, I'm starving! Hmm. There's still an issue we need to address first. Lies! Huh? An issue? Alright! Who do I gotta beat the crap out of? Just say the word, I'll do it for you. That's enough. That won't be necessary. The issue is where to safeguard this duralinium case that has the confiscated dangerous items. Huh? Can't we just leave it in here? Hmm. I've already put a lock in the case, so it shouldn't be a problem, but. We should definitely up the security and keep it someplace safe. Um. Uh, some place. Oh, there's a storage room at the back of this old building. I see. Even so, we can't leave the case alone in there. Then. And someone should guard it. That would keep it safe, yes. Huh? Who? Who? <sighs> I'll do it, of course. Uh, <laughs> Are you sure? I guess if you insist. J just kidding. Aww. But it'll be lonely there by yourself. I don't mind. Eh, I'm really not that good in situations where I have to be around lots of people anyway. <laughs> yeah. If I wrote a song about this, the title would definitely be Lonely Girl in the Storage Room. You, you really kind of on the nose with that. However, Teraturu has gone to the trouble of cooking. Is it alright with you? For, is it alright for me to bring some of it with me? Okay. Yeah, that's totally fine. But if you're gonna do guard duty anyway, it might be better if you avoid the storage room. Why is that? Not only is the storage room packed with lots of stuff, it's hard to see in there. But it's full of cobwebs. <laughs> I was so busy cleaning the dining hall, I didn't even have time to clean the storage room. If you stayed in there for a long time, I think it'd be bad for your health. I see. In that case, why don't you guard it in the office? If I recall correctly, there's also a circuit breaker in there too. It'd be a good idea to guard that as well. Yep. Yeah, the office sounds nice. I'm pretty sure it's not that dirty either. Understood. So, I need to be on guard duty at the office. Then I should get going. Have fun tonight, everyone. Talking with her... Uh, taking with her the Dura William case and a plate piled with food, Pekko left the dining hall. I see, I see. Seeing Pekko's back as she walks away makes me feel like she's got this super cool melancholy vibe. Huh? But she shouldn't have taken that other case with her too. <laughs> this? No, this case is fine. That's weird. Oh, well, no fair. I like the only one who got to bring their own stuff. Naturally. When you're as special as me, you get special privileges. <laughs> when you put it that way, it's hard to argue with you. Listen. This Duralilium case stays with me at all times, and I've put the key to the other case in here as well. 
I will take full responsibility for watching over it. There's no way I can let anyone else handle this matter. <sighs> more importantly, we're all done now, right? Let's start the party! Stop talking. No, there's still more. I'm gonna do it! Oh, who do you want me to beat the crap out of? Just hurry up and tell me already. Seriously, it has nothing to do with that. Hmm. Actually, if you're volunteering, I do have one particular nuisance in mind. Huh? Are you talking about... That's right. Monokuma, of course. He's the only thing that could obviously disrupt this party. I'll show you my serious side. All right. So you'll let me eat if I beat the crap out of Monokuma, right? Hold on! Wait a sec. If you actually pick a fight with that thing, you're just going to end up perforated. Move! Are you telling me to wait till I starve to death? Hey. That's a little extreme. Hmm. Our opponent is not someone we can just fight. Rather, it is better if we use our heads and think of a plan. Hey, hey. I'll do something about it. What? Do something. You. Hey, hey. What can a girl like you do? You're just going to put yourself in danger. Nope. I won't. It's not like I'd personally do something. You won't. <laughs> do you intend to utilize Monami? Yep. Yeah. If I can talk her into helping us, she might be able to keep Monokuma at bay. Well, at least that's what I think. <gasps> that's probably a good idea. She looks like the type to be easily manipulated. Oh! Plus Monami and Monokuma totally have that rivalry thing going on. <laughs> well, it's a pretty one-sided rivalry. Are you okay? But will you really be okay, Chucky? I still think it's dangerous. It's gonna be fine. I'll be fine. If things get dangerous, I'll just run away as fast as I can. Well then, I'll be going now. There's this feeling. I feel uneasy. It's not like I have a bad feeling about this, but something feels off. <gasps> so it's all settled right. Then can we... <laughs> all right, let's begin. <laughs> all right! Jesus Christ, she really is busting out of that, isn't she? Fine. Mm, so the banquet has finally commenced. <laughs> you had better keep me entertained. He is just fantastic. And with that, the party started. Tell me they partied hearty. Now that I think about it, I still don't understand why we're even having a party in the first place. For whatever the reason, everyone seems to be having fun. Hey, are we good? Can I finally eat? You're already eating! <laughs> I, I can't stop! <laughs> I can't stop my hands from shoving food in my face! Yeah, that's perfectly normal. That's called eating. Well, of course you can't stop. These are the world's tastiest party dishes, after all. No matter how full you feel, you can't help but continue eating such exquisite delicacies. That is what I cook, the world's tastiest dishes. He's got a bit of an ego problem, hasn't he? That's rather scary. You're not eating? Then I'm gonna eat all this by myself! I'll make lots more in the kitchen, and then I'll bring it all out here, okay? Hey everyone, while we're at it, why don't I take pictures for you guys? So yeah, something is going to- yo, know, somebody is going to die here. It has to happen. Wow! That sounds wonderful! Please do! So one of the people who's been sent away is going to get killed. This is my current working suspicion. And the Yakuza guy is going to get the immediate blame, but of course he's a red herring, because there's always at least two red herrings in these games. When I first came to this island, watching everyone have fun was so frustrating. But now it feels reassuring. We're actually friends who fight together. Friends who developed a sense of unity. Mm. Hmm? Nekumaru, did something happen? The party's just started, but... I must return to my cottage. Come on. Don't be foolish. I won't allow such selfish actions. Don't stop me! There comes a time when a man knows what he's got to do. If I don't do it now, it would shame me as a man. Shit! Sure. Is it just me, or is this guy really obsessed with your know, bowel movements? Because that's at least the third or fourth time he's brought up, uh, you know, that. 
Shitting my pants would totally shame me as a man. So he was talking about the toilet. What? If you need to use the bathroom, there's one in this old building. Why do you need to go back to your cottage? <coughs> I've been trying to use it many times, but the door just won't open at all. What? What? What is this blasphemy? <laughs> what now? Impossible! My hellhound earring has disappeared. Did it vanish to subspace? <laughs> Calm down, you probably just dropped it somewhere. Shit! I'm gonna shit! Quiet! Shut up! Don't you dare! <laughs> hey, is it alright if I eat all this? What did you say? Don't be an idiot. Make sure you leave some for me. Come on! Hey, Bakua. Come on, I'm gonna take a picture. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Say cheese! Okay, Just right. kidding! Snap. <laughs> hey, why can't you all like a little more mature? Beep beep. What? What was that sound just now? Oh, there goes the power. Which means our ultimate swordswoman's in trouble. Huh? It's dark, all of a sudden. <gasps> it's a blackout! Blackout? A blackout? Hey, I can't see anything! In that instant, we, as we stumbled around in the darkness, our fears swallowed us up like a flood. It's pitch black! My future is pitch black! Oh, quit complaining. The sound of screams and frantic footsteps rang throughout the dark dining hall. And we were immediately swallowed up by another sound. Uh, everyone, calm down! We gotta stay calm in a situation like this! Ah, don't step on my feet! What the hell? What's going on here? Because the windows were entirely covered, the blackout surrounded us in complete darkness. Complete darkness. So no matter how long I wait, there's no way for my eyes to adjust. This is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? W wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. Within the darkness, we fervently waited to be released from our fear. We anxiously waited, and after a while, it finally... Zap. Ah! At that moment, when the lights in the dining hall finally turned back on, a shocking scene unfolded before our eyes. <coughs> that... that is... Meekin's appearance had been... compromised. Oh, for God's sake. Sorry, I tripped again! Oh, you are totally gonna be the murderer at some point! Come on! Damn it, dang it, Romper, you were pretty good about this kind of crap in the last game. I mean, yes, the conveniently placed plate of food does technically prevent it from being an upskirt shot, but yeah. You're turning into Austin Powers at this point. You know, the sequence where he's walking around naked and there's just always something conveniently covering his genitalia? It's that. Seriously? How do you trip and land like that? Tied up by s with sausages as well. Well, it's definitely symbolism in that. Yay! An erotic pose! That's obviously a fan service moment! Yes, thank you. I figured that out as well. Dad! No! P please don't! Please don't look at me! <laughs> I can't take this at all! Why is it that embarrassment fetish seems to be a thing that crops up in a lot of Japanese games and that kind of stuff? Myro! It's time to snatch some shots! <laughs> Yo, Ibuki, I think you're a bit weird. There, there's no way I can do that. <laughs> Please forgive me. Just forgive me already! <sighs> Everyone... I think it would be best if we help her already. I'd concur with that. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
I'm terribly sorry for all this trouble. So sorry. Hey. Yeah, from now on, let's just be careful. Huh? Oh, I'm glad. The lights are back on here, too. Yay! So you were the one who fixed the breaker, Kazuki. You weren't usually useful this time. Hey. Well, no, I couldn't find my way back to the office with the circuit breaker. Huh? Then why are the lights back on? <laughs> Who knows? What? Are you stupid? Don't... Who knows me? You're useless. <laughs> ah, it's not my fault, you know. There's no way I could have found my way to the office in that darkness. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, sorry, itchy scalp. What happened? Sonia, did something happen? Um... No, but Bayakua is missing. Did he go somewhere? Huh? Bayakua? We immediately looked around the dining hall, and sure enough... Bayakua, who promised he would lead us in situations like this, was nowhere to be found. Huh? That... that's weird. He was here earlier, right? Um... Did he run off somewhere d during the blackout? In that pitch blackness? Hey! I'm a little worried. We should split up. Go look for him. I'll look in the storage room. Can I ask you to check the entrance, Hayami? Yeah, yeah, I got it. For now... Then I guess I'll go look in the office? Then... Then I shall go and look around the hallway. I'll wait here since I'm kind of in the middle of eating, anyway. She's still going to eat with all this going on? Mm. I must bathroom. Sure. I must man up and check the bathroom. I do not understand this man up thing. Jeez! Mr. Ham Hands ran away just because it was a nitty bitty blackout. <laughs> Such a shameful leader. If I find him, I'm going to finger flick him in the face as punishment. Even so, where did he go? Well, I believe I have to check the entrance. I'm pretty sure Chucky was there. Okay, bathroom. Let's go outside. Even Money says there's a dead body out here. Jackie and Monami are standing in front of the entrance. Guess they're watching out for Monokuma. Huh? Hey, Ami, what about the party? Oh! It's not done yet, right? I haven't even joined in yet. Hey, Chucky, did you happen to see Bayakua pass by here? Nope. No, I didn't. But what happened to Bayakua? There was a sudden blackout inside that old building, and he vanished during the time. So we thought he might have gone outside, but... Nope, nobody came out. <sighs> if nobody came out, does that mean he's still inside? If that's the case, we might have missed each other? I think. That's what I think. Hey. Hey, Hayami, how'd it go? Well, when I talked to Chucky, she said he didn't go outside. That's... That's weird. No one was inside the storage room, either. Hmm. He wasn't in the kitchen, obviously. Hmm. If no one was inside the office... It is strange, no? Nobody was inside the office? That's weird! Huh? What about Pekko? Thought she was supposed to be guarding that area. Hey! Well, actually, not even Pekko was there. Huh? Pekko's gone, too? Hmm. Maybe those two took advantage of the blackout to have themselves a major makeout session in the bathroom. Well done! Hmm, truly, truly outrageous. Hmm. Um. Did something happen, Akani? It smells. Do any of you smell something? Well. well. Hardly digested food is absorbed by the small intestine, it's decomposed by bacteria releasing gas. 
which is mostly absorbed in the intestinal tract, but whatever cannot be absorbed is excreted from the anus. Yes! Those are the mechanics of farting, but farting isn't something to be embarrassed about. It's not like that! No, I'm not talking about that. Wait! It smells... like blood. Blood? Hmm. As Akane's nose twitched like a beast, she suddenly pointed. <sighs> it's coming from over there! A table, set at the very back of the dining hall. So, who do we think's under here? Well, let's find out. The smell of blood. What in the world is at that table? <sighs> it's under there! Under the table? I dashed towards the table at the back, reaching out towards the tablecloth. And then I stopped. Is this nervousness? Fear? Why? Why am I nervous? It can't be. It obviously can't be. There's no way that's going to happen. With a shout, I grabbed at the tablecloth and flipped it back in one go. And it is Bayakua! He didn't last long in this game. Why the hell does he have night vision goggles? For the rest of my life, I will never forget what I saw. And what I saw... I saw the ultimate affluent progeny, Bayakua Togami, already dead and beyond recognition. And we're up to the investigation phase, okay. So, give me a look at the scene first. This is the, th this is the part of these games that I like. I like figuring out uh, who did what and why. Why is Biakuya? Well, I'm gonna go with stab wounds. Scuffle in the dark. Somebody was prepped with night vision goggles, which probably means they were in that Casey hat. I suspect. No. no. You have impressive lung capacity. I stood there, horrified as showers of screams rang out behind me. And as I gazed quietly at the body of my former friend. Why? What is this? <laughs> hey, 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 this, hey, hey! It, it's impossible. Are you kidding me? Don't mess with me. This must be some kind of mistake. <laughs> This can't be real blood, right? It's it's got to be something like like jam or, or sauce, because if not, that this that this. <laughs> what the hell? Good gracious! Things quickly took a turn for the worse. Yahoo! My my, this is interesting. Thrills, chills, kills! On this tropical paradise known as Jabberwock Island, the very first murder has finally taken place. Murder? Could it be? Does this mean? <laughs> of course! That's right! Bayakua was killed by one of you. What the? Of course! If you look at the body, you can tell instantly. He was obviously murdered. <laughs> look, he has such a horrible expression on his face. Don't you think? A face filled with regret that his life was ended by force. Or well, thanks to someone else's selfish desires. To have a dying face such as that. If this isn't murder, what the heck could it be? Hmm. Yakuwa was most likely sacrificed by someone who really wanted to leave the island. Lies. It's all lies. You're lying that he was murdered. Murdered. The moment I screamed the word, a thick, muddy feeling of despair swelled within me. Which means that... I've accepted the fact that he was murdered. What is this? Could, could is it be? Is that really Bayakua? Why? Why? Why did this happen? Why, why Bayakua? Phew! I see, I see. It appears Fukuhiko, Fuyahiko is the only one who isn't here. What are you gonna do? So in the spirit of keeping everyone on the same page, how about we do this the usual way? A body has been now then. Yes, thank you. At first. Yes, I know. Right. V 
that is an excellent point to end this part. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next.